Hi, uh, I'm not trying to brag, but I recently went to Australia for a couple of weeks. How you doing? <laughs> Got a couple of new friends. Ah, his teeth are tickling me. <laughs> While I was in my hometown of Adelaide, I ventured into the city to a little store called Shin Tokyo. This store used to be, and still is, probably my favorite store in Adelaide. It was like a little slice of Japanese culture where you could buy imported figures and video games, but not just from Japan. Shin Tokyo also imports a lot of European games, which means between Australian exclusives and other European exclusives, there are a lot of Nintendo Switch games in this store that I had never seen before. Games that just don't release here in the US. So I bought yeah, a lot of them, a lot of games. <laughs> Ew, it was very expensive. Australia is not cheap, I forgot and very quickly remembered. <laughs> Turns out that most of these were co-op games and also they were all very weird. Anyway, here they are. I also filmed some video of me talking at Shin Tokyo, but uh, it sounded like this. I don't know, it's fun to actually buy games in another country, so we're not gonna be using that footage. And then I also tried to shoot some footage of me outside the Airbnb we were staying in, and that sounded perfectly fine, but I was very tired and that looked like this. I got Devil's Third, so I'm not gonna be using that footage either. <laughs> But here's what we are going to do. Kim and I are going to play all three of these games in co-op mode, and then I'm going to let you know if they were any good or not. And it could really go either way with all three of them. Although I will say that all three look very bright, bubbly, and fun. I got no idea what kind of game any of these are. I'm not gonna lie, I immediately raced, pun intended, to throw this one in my Switch as soon as I got home, because Nippon Marathon, by far, looked the most interesting to me. <laughs> uh, so obviously the cover art for this game screamed Japan, and then as soon as you load it up, you get hit with the characters and the voiceover and the everything still very much screaming Japan. <laughs> Didn't expect there to be a story mode, so I went ahead and started that. Oh no, I saw the character models and the animations, and immediately I thought I had discovered the worst Switch game. Maybe even one of the worst games of all time. Oh my. <laughs> like, she's not even holding the microphone. It's just kind of resting between two fingers. And then look at this crowd. The character models are so bad. Like, I wonder what these people are actually supposed to look like. Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> it was about at this point that I started to clue in that maybe this game wasn't taking itself too seriously. I mean, Oh, come on. And then I started reading dialogue like this chick telling me that her jetpack is 100% gluten-free. And the fact that in between scenes in this story, it doesn't just fade to black and then move on to the next scene. No, the character models realizing they're no longer needed in this scene decide to just up and sprint out of the screen. Everything here is very intentionally bad and it's hilarious. So while racing, you can jump over obstacles or duck underneath them. There's item blocks, Mario Kart style, you can pick up and then you'll either hold them in your left hand or right hand. If you use the left or right trigger, you can throw that item. The left or right bumper, you can eat that item. The aim of the game here is to avoid, leap over or duck under every single weird and wacky obstacle in your way and leave everyone else in your dust. If you can make the screen follow you far enough ahead and everyone else falls behind, they pause the race, give you a point, reset everyone, and you do it again until you all hit the finish line. So you can get multiple points during a race, or stars as they call them, if you just keep getting ahead of everyone else. And that's how you really dominate. But it's not as easy as it sounds, because all it takes is one little thing to glitch or trip you up, and suddenly you're flying face first into a wall or into the sea. And it's just hilarious chaos. And as soon as I raced my first race, I stopped everything, and I went and got Kim to play because I just needed somebody else to experience this game with me. Why do they look so terrible? <laughs> oh God. What kind of game do you think this is? Just by everything that you've seen so far. I imagine it's just a racing game. Okay. Yeah, on foot. Okay. Got something, yeah. how do I throw so it? So press the left bumper. Oh, that's how you throw yeah. it. And okay. that'll hit okay. me and I'll Oh no, pull. oh no! <laughs> Is that guy dead? That's me, and yeah, I oh. think I think I passed out. Oh, what are the dogs doing? 
the dogs are, they chase you and try and trip you up. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. No, I'm going to get left no! off again. Simon is being very distracting. These dogs won't leave me alone. No! Here Alex. we go. Rocky steps. I think this is it. Yeah. yeah. What did you think? I think it's very interesting. Is it? I, could I think easily... if you play it enough, it'll make sense. I imagine playing with four people would yeah. be really oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if we go to party games mm -hmm. and go-go trolley. Go-go trolley. <laughs> so it's, it's bowling. Okay. With so, the shopping cart? Yeah. So you line up where you want the cart. Okay. And then you, you, you pick your direction. Right. And, and then, then you, you just kind of run into it. And, oh. uh, and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. Oh, a strike, huh? Oh, oh no! no! They came back up! Oh, see, if I had got down there quicker... You could have pushed him? I could have pushed him. Oh. Oh, wait, no! It still counts somehow. Okay. Yeah, All right, sure? you try. Oh, God. Boom! I don't know if it counted because count? you ran out of time. Probably not. But, okay, you get another one. Oh, I do? Here's, oh, right, to pick up the stairs. Yeah, Let's here's my it. recommendation. This jump, tilt it? Jump into the cart. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't but you got the, you cleaned up the spare. Okay. Sure. I like it. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I feel like it worked better when you weren't in the cart. So if I just don't. There we go. Oh! And then I. Oh, see, so, you know, if I had no. managed to do it on the left, I could have cleaned up the right side at the same time. <laughs> so it's okay, now you can kind of control yourself. So it's going to the right, so you go to the left. Yeah. You go to the left. I am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think, no, I nine. I didn't count it. Mm -hmm. oh. You got that one left one standing. Oh, no. oh, you're gonna jump in it. Okay, well, that's cool. I think well, you got it. You know, maybe. I think you got it. Maybe. Hey. hey oh, how did you spin it I at the last second? I didn't touch anything, it just happened. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you touched it. Oh yeah, you can turn it. Okay. I'm kind of turning it. Okay. Not really though. <laughs> well, at least <laughs> All right. Well, that's that. Okay. That's that. That's interesting. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I gotta run up the ramp. Yeah, no. Run up the ramp. No, 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 no. There you go. Oh no. Now I'm stuck. What do I do? Oh, I oh you slide under hey, the bus. Nice. It's okay, I'm still in the game. Oh, come on. Oh, it's just you and me. What are we doing? Running through here? Oh, no! Oh, this way! Oh, this way. oh no. I thought I was supposed to run into that. Oh, God, no! Oh, no! Oh, I technically ah. won! Just no! no! Oh, come on! I clipped through so it! So did I! I clipped through it, I was in! Oh, this happens sometimes oh, as well. what is this? I don't know. Oh. It's always different. Oh. Okay, so we all get an item oh, from now. That's pretty clip. clip. Okay, can oh. I move? I can't. I don't no. even get to go. No, I didn't either. Look at that. There's no bull. <laughs> bull that dog can do that. No. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Ooh, no. Oh, they're throwing them at us. Oh, come on. Look at my I was so excited to ride the trolley down. Oh, boy. Not for you. I'm Take running. this. I'm a oh, oh, come on. <laughs> so it turns out this game was indeed made as a parody of itself. Actually, it's made as a parody of what outsiders think of Japan looking in. For example, if the developers of this game wouldn't make one based in Australia, we'd probably all be riding kangaroos and dodging giant spiders and snakes. Oh, and playing the game upside down, of course. <laughs> it's everything stereotypical people think and say about Japan, and it's just so much fun. It's like $15 on the eShop, and I really think that it's a party game must have for the Switch. I'm not even kidding. I really can't wait to bust this out at the next party game night I have. Sadly, Last Fight doesn't quite live up to the same hype that Nippon Marathon managed to create for me. It's very okay. There's a lot that I do love about it. The art style for one, the character design, the game design in general. Everything visually and even musically is really good. But for a game that is based solely around fighting, the fighting's not very good. I mean, Kim really liked it. I just think it's a little too basic. Oh, there's like a hawk this, guy. I like this fish guy. I'll yeah. Take him. Yeah. Oh, you gotta press A a lot, apparently. I don't know why. Oh, no. I won. Oh, to decide who gets to. Oh, play that's the kind of a cool mechanic. Okay. Alright, we'll do. Oh. We'll do the the lost your favorite TV show, Lost Plane Crash. Oh boy. Or also the most upsetting episode of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> was it the most upset? Yes, it was. Oh, 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 oh that's oh. that guy kind of looks really cool, that's actually. Really cool. Oh, <laughs> I she like these looks characters. Like the green giant, but not. Oh, that's a really oh. tiny. Oh, yeah. interesting. 
What is it? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, it's kind of a 3D Roma. Oh, the oh, fan turned on. Back. What is happening? Oh, no. Oh, I just blew smoke in That's your face. Rude. Take a missile! Oh, I dropped you the missile. Missed. Oh, I can go up oh, here. Oh, you can take stuff off the plane? <laughs> Look at me go. What is this? No! What is happening? Now oh. you're Max, apparently. What does Control. that mean? I'm assuming you can do some kind of uh, special What is the special? Thing. I don't know, but I want my Max. Oh, was that it? Oh, 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 oh no! Your little Venus flytraps nice. are eating me. Ah, I can't get away from them. No, you can't. How'd you get Max again? I don't know. I don't know how to do it either. Can I be I honest? Did it once. It's not great. <laughs> I really like the design of the characters. Too. Oh, I threw the missile. There it goes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna beat you. Whoa. Look, I do like a. Well, if I what? get a second breathe, I do a football charge. You see that? Yeah. You don't care. You're just trying to kill me. You already almost have a special. Probably because yeah. you're kicking my butt. I am kicking. Your I can't. Aim. I oh my no. Oh, that was cool. Whoa. So was that, though. All right, oh. now my special bar is completely gone, and I haven't touched X once. Oh, really? So I don't... I don't... I don't... Right. Oh! Whoa. So you just... Oh, yeah, you okay. Just, you push it and you hold it. Oh, so you don't need to build up any kind no, of special. No, you just do it. So how did you build up a special, then? By hitting you? This character sucks. Yeah. She's not great against I can't people. even figure out. She's got grabs. She can jump. She can throw. She can do that. And she can she can do this. Yeah, but I feel like... This character is awful. You have all these, like, different attacks and ranged attacks. It's really not. I'm just pushing the same button. Whoa. Just I know. And you've got all these attacks out of it. All I can do is the splits. This character is the worst. Well, if there was a gymnastics round, you'd be all set. Yeah. Well, it's in a gymnastics... All right. I said gymnastics. Gymnastics? Gymnastics. I mean, for example, there's not really that many moves or attacks you can do. Every character has only a few moves and then one big special move. So immediately fights become pretty repetitive in that sense and characters that have a better default move set to other characters are gonna win every time. Like this crack jack guy that Kim used, his basic attack was this big sweeping arm move that when you just spam it, there was nothing I could do against it. With my character who her equivalent attack was dropping down and doing the splits. What, what am I supposed to do with that? Also, playing against the CPU is frustrating because the maps are filled with objects and items that you can pick up and throw or use against your enemies to bash their head in with. And the CPU seem to love these objects, very much so. Their main goal seems to be to just target these objects. In fact, most of the CPU fights I had was just me chasing after the computer while they were hunting down objects to pick up and throw at me. And what's even more frustrating is that the CPU seem to know exactly when these objects were going to appear on the screen and they just waited there for the moment the frame that those objects clipped into play and then they were just already holding them and then throwing them at me felt very unfair. It can be fun just having throwing things around fights, especially when you have objects like picking up a phone and if you hold onto it long enough, you call in a massive missile strike on your opponent, which did lead to some really intense moments right at the end of rounds. So needless to say, I wasn't totally impressed by this game and I did play through some of the story mode, but it was really just a few lines of text and pictures and then a basic one-on-one -on -one fight and then rinse and repeat until you complete the story mode. I don't feel like I got the $50 I paid out of the game, but that is Australian prices. I'm sure the digital version is much cheaper. I haven't looked at it, but I still wouldn't be rushing to get this one. I would definitely get Nippon Marathon first. <laughs> then we have Super Kane Magic Zero, which quickly became Kim's favorite of the bunch and surprised me a lot. There is no way I'm not playing Dudwood. <laughs> that is 100% a character I would pick in a game like this. A lot of ways too. Because <laughs> it's an eye it's an eyeball. that is also a mouth and is Why very creepy. Why do you have creepy. a pepperoni? Where? Right there. Do you only eat pepperonis? Oh! What did you do? I, I made oh, a, I did it too. I made a thing. Oh, that's, I guess that's a spell of some kind. I know it. Is that a Nokia phone? Yes. Am I supposed to break it? You can't. Oh, I found pepper. Maybe, maybe I found pepperoni. What is that? I don't know, but I ate it. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat it. Um, nom, 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 nom. 
I, I you ate just a ate a skull. I ate a skull. I didn't <laughs> that's, say that's I metal. couldn't, so I did. So it turns out, this game is a procedurally generated dungeon and local PvP arena style game which allows you to fight solo or play in local co-op. You can get gear, eat bombs, <laughs> rescue a dog, and save the internet. It has a very charming art style, and we really like it and can't wait to actually sit down when we're not recording and trying to be entertaining and actually play through it together and have a lot of fun. It just feels really fleshed out and polished as an RPG. I mean, they call it a comedy adventure RPG and they could have just heavily leaned into the comedy side of it and trusted that it would be enough to keep players invested because really fantastic writing and great humor, which this game has, can be enough to make a game fun enough to play through despite however the gameplay turns out. But, as it turns out, the gameplay and the core mechanics of the RPG side of it is equally as good as the writing and the humor and everything else. It's kind of a perfect little adorable package. I really hate that I had never heard of this before because I wish I could have jumped on this one sooner. There are so many different items and objects that you can smash around or pick up or eat or equip onto your character. I feel like maybe I've played games like this before and ones that definitely aren't as funny <laughs> or as fun, but they're usually single player games. It's really cool to see this not only being a co-op game, but a four-player co-op game. I imagine this would be a really chaotic and fun game to play through the story mode with four people. Uh, Kim and I are more than content to play through just the two of us, and we're really excited to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, oh, we, we get, both get we one. We get one each, okay. Oh, that's cool. Fair, all right. Now, now what? what? I like how happy your guy looks when he attacks. <laughs> Loves it. Oh, we gotta oh. fight this guy. Take this. Beat up. Beat, beat up. Beat, beat him up. Be smush. <laughs> smush. Kill him. Ah, we beat our first enemy. Yeah, I think we still have to beat these guys up. Oh, can we throw these? Give me like two little high fives. I just ate glue and got really strong. Oh, what's this? I don't know. Some sort of orb. If I eat it? Oh, I and consumed they, it. It makes. Okay. I don't There's know. A lot of oh, now. This. I don't know what that did. Wait, what if I throw it? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Thanks so much for that. It's okay, come back to life. I'm doing resuscitations on myself. No, How I was doing How about you no more grab things? Okay, well don't throw it at me. I'm not going out there. It's full of angry feet monsters. All right. Uh, They're feet monsters. Feet monsters. They're feet. Uh, yeah, you get like huge damage if you throw them against a wall. Okay. Oh, oh fuel. Okay. I'm going to eat it. Oh, oh don't eat the fuel! Why would you do that? I really like this game. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, of the Adventure Time games, kind of like with Undertale humor. Yeah. And really great like 8-bit music. There's a lot to like here, and I really hope the game stays consistently fun like this. Yeah. I gotta be honest, when I bought these three games, I didn't really have high expectations. I was kind of hoping they would at least be funny or humorous, or I could make fun of them in some way when I bought them, but I was mostly just buying some exclusive games I couldn't pick up here. Not even sure if I could make a video about it. But then all three of the games ended up being really great. Well, two of them ended up being really great, and then one was pretty fun to look at. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out. I don't feel like I wasted my money, and I feel like maybe, hopefully, they made for an interesting and fun video, and maybe you found a couple games you might go out and buy now. Maybe not, I don't know. I really don't care. What I could, <laughs> what I do care about is you liking the video here. Bing! All over the subscribe button. We are all, we are all so close to a million. Just make it happen, guys then I'll stop talking about it.